Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to on and study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, this is a video on bond breaking amount, and this is the second video on this particular topic. In the first video, we had discussed. If you'll go back and check on our channel, so how much amount you have to pay if you break the service agreement bond in TCS, and how much amount you have to pay if you break the bond in uh, in forces okay so they have also sent a mail and according to that you will be getting a idea now in this video we will discuss if you accept the offer letter and what if you get another opportunity okay so accepting the offer letter so you have not joined you have just accepted the offer letter and if you get any other opportunity then what you have to do okay now second question what if you leave the company without paying the bond amount friends so what happens suppose if we have one year service agreement bond and if you leave the company without paying any bond amount then what will happen and can you join the same company after breaking the bond so all this question i am going to answer in this particular video and the bond breaking amount okay the part one uh, link will be given in description so you can have a look at that so here the complete clarity has been given to you now so friends now in this video we will discuss if you accept the offer letter and what if you get another opportunity so suppose you have got one offer from tcs okay and in your next step portal in your next step portal okay you accepted the offer letter you accepted the offer letter and you also uploaded your documents and your joining date is after 15 days 20 days or one month okay now now in that amount of time you got another opportunity from infosys as a dsc uh, okay or sp role so definitely the package will be more because dsc the package is uh, if i'm not wrong 6.25 and sp9 uh, lpa package is there okay so I, there, the data might be here and there, but you are getting more package and here you had a ninja role for 3.6, 3.36. Now, definitely you would like to join Infosys, DSC or SP role, whatever you have got. So here, what you can do. So if you have just accepted the offer letter and if you have uploaded all the documents, but you have not joined, okay? So you have not joined, then there is no problem. So this service agreement bond works only when you join the company if you are not joining the company then you do not have to worry at all you can go for the another opportunity because accepting the offer letter until then you are not joining you have the opportunity okay so you have the opportunity you will be able to okay so you'll have the opportunity and you will be able to join any other companies there is no problem at all okay so this is perfectly clear so till then you don't join the bond and everything does not come in picture the day you join then the bond things and all will come in picture okay because so they have spent money on your recruitment they have spent money on your training so only after you join all those things will happen okay so they will give you access they will give you id card they will create profile for you so a lot of activities will happen only when you join before you're joining only you need to submit the documents now what if you leave the company without paying the bond amount so friends what happens so suppose you have a one year uh, service agreement bond and now after six months you wanted to leave after six months you wanted to leave because you have got a very good opportunity so uh, suppose if your package was 3.36 you got an opportunity for 6 lpa or 7 lpa so i will suggest you to pay the bond amount and then you leave but many people what they do is so they leave the company without paying the bond amount so the first thing is you will not be getting the relieving letter relieving letter means also you can say experience certificate you will not be getting okay and you will not be certified that you have worked in this particular company second thing not every company but some of the company will blacklist you so blacklist you means that company will not again hire you it's not like that they have blacklisted and none other it companies and none other it companies 
will be able to hire you no not like that because you have left only one particular company suppose the company name is xyz so you left xyz without paying any bond amount then definitely uh, you do not have to worry about uh, worry about at all okay see the only thing what will happen is they will not give you a relieving letter and they might blacklist you you cannot join xyz but here there is a twist is there that you need to understand so suppose you are working in xyz company you are working in xyz company okay and then you joined here abc company now so you are joining as a experienced uh, you know experienced employee so see you have left it without paying the bond amount that means you do not have the experience certificate okay now and then abc company you joined and in the abc company you told that i was working in xyz company then the background verification will happen if you are going to join as a experienced candidate if you are going to join as a fresher then there will be uh, you know the background verification will not happen with your previous company so there will be a third party so third party suppose obc so this abc company will go to obc for the background verification so obc will go to your previous company xyz and then they will get the data so that might create a problem in your background verification but as a fresher if you quit and if you join then there there won't be any kind of problem okay now can you join the same company again after breaking the bond so you cannot join the same company after breaking the bond because they will blacklist you and they will have all your data so this most of the company does that so this was the queries which i was getting on this particular videos so if you'll go through that so there were a lot of queries were there uh, okay so sir what if the company relieves you instead will the bond matter so if company relieves you then there is no bond matters okay so all these questions uh, has been answered here and see there are some questions like i got selected in wipro and infosys which companies would i join so it depends upon your interest so this question i have answered multiple times this is also there in the videos what about nsr so nsr is already mentioned uh, you know we have done one video on that where cognizant has bond so i think cognizant does not have any kind of bond okay so but bond is actually uh, illegal in india so friends bond is legal actually okay so don't think much about that so if you don't join after uploading everything on launchpad then so then in that case nothing will happen you do not have to worry at all till then you don't join so these are the some questions which i have answered here and hope this give you a satisfactory answer if you have any doubt please do ask but watch the previous video on bond breaking amount uh, part 1 and if you need one more video i can also make a part 3 video thank you till then take care all the best uh, for your joining